Yeah, you know, I used to, uh, going back to around 2008, 2009, I was unpopular among certain people in the video games industry because I would go give these speeches about how certain designs of games were unethical because they were about psychologically manipulating people and so forth. But, but what is now happening on social media is like way worse <laughs> than what any of these games do because I, I do think these platforms thrive off this. They won't, you know, again, if you go ask the engineers who make Twitter happen or something, they'll say, oh, there's a little bit of that, but it's a net good because blah, blah, blah. And it's like, really? And also, <laughs> are you really trying to, you know, mitigate some of these negative uh, manipulations? Because you could imagine tuning a communications platform to attempt to disincentivize this kind of manipulation of people's emotions and just incentivize clear, thoughtful, nuanced communication. And mm. nobody really wants to do that because it reduces traffic, right? Mm -hmm. And there you go. And, and but, people won't admit that that's really what's happening. Yeah, I don't know to what degree the algorithms, say the YouTube recommendation algorithm or the, the Twitter trending out that presumably can I rant for a second, please, let me push pause. The, oh, so the word, uh, since we're talking about society, all right. Yeah. The word algorithm is a propaganda word. Yeah, being used to manipulate people. Okay. Yeah. What is an algorithm? Again, for, for non technical people, you don't care. But let's let's just lay it out. An algorithm is a method of solving a well defined problem in a mathematical like way for which there is a correct answer that can be verified correct and the algorithm can be verified correct as a thing that produces the correct answer that is not what any of this stuff is that people call algorithms on youtube and what it what it instead is is like heuristics which is a, a fancy multi-syllable word it's like arbitrary choices right if you yeah. program, it's like a boatload of if it's more like it's more like the Coke secret formula, right? It's a flavor. Yes, yes. And so so calling these things algorithms, I think both lends them more respectability than they deserve, but also um, uh, removes the asking of certain kinds of questions about them that I think people should be asking, you know, mm. do you remember? So so back before things got so insane with all of social media, I think YouTube was one of the first platforms that people were putting pressure on because there were all these articles that were like, I started with such and such a video and I was able to click on links and eventually I was watching. Oh, Nazis, yes. The, right? um, yeah, the, the um, YouTube is radicalizing yeah, yes. people. Kind of, and and yeah. this was used to say that the algorithm, right, which again is a heuristic or whatever, was incredibly biased or doing bad things or whatever. And this was obviously untrue. Like if you imagine the simplest possible actual <laughs> algorithm, right, which is like all your videos are points in space and you mm -hmm. pick the one you just watched and draw a circle around it, right? It's like, yeah, there's some video to the east of that thing. And if you mm -hmm. keep walking east, you'll get to the eastern boundary of the space. <laughs> like that's a completely unbiased algorithm and you can right. do. So what these people were really calling for is you should not have the an easterly direction. You should not the, be able to walk east. And yeah, it was yeah. never stated such as now people just say that right before. Yeah you know, five, six, eight years ago, this was not sayable. And now it is sayable. Um, and that's right. scary, I think. The, yeah, the, the idea being at first, let's pre or at least the way it was talked about at first, let's prevent um, these accidental side effects of the systems that we've set up, which, which are pushing people in a direction we don't like. And now it is let's use the systems that we have as tools to push people to, uh, you know, not, uh, not left and right politically. Right. But the direction East and East and West is better. You know, yeah. we, we want people to go West. Let's make the systems push them to the West. So it's impossible for anybody to, to go East, no matter how yeah, and unique they are. I think YouTube just got crushed under that. I don't know what it was, or maybe it was driven internally like Twitter, but YouTube is very, very dead 
to me now compared to how like it used to be i would go on youtube and i would like see new stuff to watch that i didn't know about and all that and now it like mm -hmm. it doesn't recommend anything to me except things that i've that i'm subscribed to or that i've already watched or things very very watched. rarely there's something yeah. very very similar to what i've already seen but it's like so clamped down Mm -hmm. that there's no motion at all. And like, I don't watch as much YouTube as I otherwise would because like, I just go on the page and there's all this stuff that I don't, like you're re-showing me all the things I decided not to watch every time I go to YouTube, right? <laughs> right the fact that true. I did not watch yeah. them is, you know, and the problem is YouTube just doesn't have sufficient competition to, mm. you know, they just have the de facto monopoly regardless of how bad their thing is now that mm -hmm. uh, of course over time it's bad and they'll lose their position eventually because of this but it takes a long time for those things to happen